Hello, we are West Ham Whiz Kids. My name is Nabil. And I am Mahi. We bring you a special report today about the legendary Tony Carr, MBE. And now over to you in the studio, Asad and Mubarak. Hello sir, it's an honour to meet you. My name is Mubarak and this is Asad. Congratulations on your MBE award. How did you feel when you received it? Well, obviously very shocked at first when I received the letter. And uh, at the time you receive the letter, you're sworn to secrecy because you have to reply to, to accept or to decline. I obviously accepted and uh, I had to go to Buckingham Palace to receive the medal from the Queen, which was a fantastic honour and it's something that uh, I'll remember to the day I die. It was a fantastic, fantastic event for me. Did you actually meet the Queen when she gave it to you? Yes, I had a little conversation with the Queen. She asked questions. You don't ask her questions, she asks you questions. And uh, when she's finished with you, she holds her hand out to shake your hand, and that means you're finished, and you have to walk off and uh, collect your... She pins the medal on your lapel and uh, had a couple of minutes' conversation, and, uh, yeah, very memorable day. When you started your football career, what was your main goal? I think my main goal, because I signed for West Ham as a young apprentice at 15 years of age, my main goal was to try and play in the West Ham first team. That was my main aim at that time. How proud did you feel when you see your students who have become superstars, e.g. John Terry? Yes, and obviously there's been many, many more beyond that. I mean, John, I spoke to John just recently, and uh, he's, still a, he's still an East End boy and not, never lost his roots, and his feet are firmly on the ground, and... Um, Yes, it's great when you've seen them as young boys and you've helped coach them and bring them through. To see them actually go through and become international players and win all sorts of trophies and medals, it's, uh, you, you do get a very, a very good feeling of, of pride that you had some part to play in it. What are the key values of an ambassador of West Ham United? I think to uphold the good name of West Ham and promote West Ham whenever possible and to always uh, be very positive in the way that the club tries to portray itself to its fans, its local community and to football in general. So my job really is to uh, promote West Ham United. Thanks very much for answering our questions, sir, and it's an honour to meet you again.